shocking law of attraction secrets. Let go and you shall receive. And this is probably the biggest reason to why a lot of people who have read the book The Secret or believe in the law of attraction have heard Abraham Hicks on different videos, have been practicing this stuff, but for some reason, it's not quite working out for you right now. Maybe certain little things have been working out for you, but the things that you really, really want to manifest, like maybe money or maybe relationships, it's not quite working out. And the biggest reason to it is because most people are holding on. So I'm going to break it down for you in this video how not only I've been able to use this technique, but thousands of others and why they call me on to speak on the major platforms all across the world to share this information. So I'm going to break it all down for you so you can start using it and attracting and manifesting what you want instantly. But before I get into it, show reel. Hit it. What's up guys, this is Eric Ho here, international speaker, entrepreneur, and best-selling author. And in this video, I'm gonna break down for you the number one thing, the biggest reason to why most people can't use the law of attraction or get the law of attraction to work for them, to manifest what you want in life. And this is a big, big secret. Why? Because usually, like in a lot of law of attraction books, in the book, The Secret, it doesn't actually break this down for you. And I always say to a lot of my students, I say, let go and you shall receive. So how do you actually set a goal, something that you really want, and at the same time, let go? Because then it's opposite to setting a goal. That's what a lot of people believe. And that's why a lot of people find it very hard. Uh, by the way, I just ignore the noise a little bit. We're here. Um, uh, unsetting up. How do you say unsetting up? Down. We're packing down. That's the, that's, the, that's the Irish way of saying it. But anyway, we're packing down from um, an event we just held, the H Academy event. Um, it was absolutely amazing. We got the whole team here. So let's come across this side where we had backstage just a moment ago. Um, in fact, I'm going to show you a quick, quick snippet of the event. You ready? One, two, three. An opportunity is an energy portal. Let me tell you something, that's when you know it's complete divine time because the portal is wide open. First of all, to understand energy never dies. So the portal is never closed. But what actually happens is, after the initial divine time, it starts narrowing. And what does this mean? <laughs> We're back, okay. So guys, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. We took you behind the scenes so you can take a little snippet of what our events are like. And by the way, if you're in and around London, if you ever want tickets to our events for our YouTubers, our YouTube fans, um, I'm happy to give like sponsorship tickets and stuff like that. So all you do is just message below. If you're in and around Europe or wherever you are tuned in from, just let me know because I'll always um, like to invite my friends online to join us here so we can actually meet on a personal level. Um, but let's get back to the thing. So letting go and you shall receive. Now, what does this actually mean? The, the biggest problem I see is that a lot of people, when they set a goal, they set an intention, they hold on to that goal, hold on to that intention. Now, why is that a problem? It's a problem because the laws of attraction don't allow you to receive if you are holding on. Just imagine if your fist was like this, it isn't open for the new stuff to come in. So you're holding on to it and you have an expectation for the outcome. The moment you're able to let go, then you shall receive. This is one of the key principles of the law of attraction that a lot of people don't talk about. And so how do you let go? And when do you let go? This is key. Because a lot of people say, okay, yeah, you need to set a goal. So you set a goal, you need to kind of really, really want that thing. So you really, really want that thing. But how do you really want something at the same time as letting go of that thing? It's all about, and I want you to type this below so it instills the learning. Those of you who are used to my videos, you know what to do. Those of you who are new to my channel, we always type the learnings below. And for that reason, on the vibrational level and on the learning level, we learn on a deeper level, okay? So just type in below, right? Number one, let go and you shall receive. Type that below now. Now I'd like you to type the learning below. The key thing you need to let go of is not let going of the, let, letting go of the goal, but it's to let go of the expectation of the outcome. 
What does this mean? It means, and this is why I wrote a book called Set It and Forget It. It means you set the goal, set the intention, and then you forget it. You let it go because you've already sent that vibration there. You've already sent that positive affirmation there. You've already set the intention. The universe already has your back. The moment you hold on to it and you keep looking out for it and you keep wanting that desire and that wanting is kind of almost like you are not trusting the universe. Now the universe doesn't like it when you don't trust the universe. So it can't answer to you if you don't trust the universe. Think about this for a second. Think of, uh, imagine a, a person and you're not trusting them. They're not gonna produce for you if you don't trust them. So you have to allow. The key is to allow, type that below. The key is to allow. So. First part of it is about setting the intention. Set, second part of it is about letting go. By the way, I'm gonna put a link to my book in the description. If you have not read it already, read it. It's a short book, right? I'm dyslexic and if I can write it and I can read it, you can definitely read it too, okay? So it's a short book, but it explains step by step exactly how to create this manifestation. And I'm putting a link on there for you guys to get it absolutely free, okay? so. Let me just wrap up this whole experience, this whole idea for you, the whole moment of letting go. And this is um, one of the big teachings that I got from my yogi master. What he taught was he said, the moment you let go and you open up that space, you create new space for the new things to come into your life. You create new space. There's this saying that says, when your cup is full, stop pouring. You need to empty the cup and allow new space for the new things to come into your life. Now, this could be in your relationships right now. This could be with wealth right now. And when it comes to money, and this is what I want to wrap it up with, because a lot of people fail in attracting money. They can attract a parking space. They can attract all these random things, but they fail in attracting money. Why? Because they are holding tight onto money. I have never met a rich saver before. All big, really, really wealthy people, they are very willing to invest money. If we understand money, money is energy. Energy is everything, everything is energy. So therefore money is also energy. Now energy likes to always be flowing, meaning out and in. The moment you're able to let go of money to allow it to flow out and invest in things, then you shall receive. In the Bible it also talks about sow and you shall reap. But let's go one step further. It's actually what you sow is what you reap. That's why a lot of people say, but I give so much love out there. Surely my karmic value is very high and surely I should be very rich by now. You give love, you get back love. You put out money, you get back money. So it's very important to be free and allow that money to be free too. Allow it to be flowing. It likes to be moving all the time. Guys, I hope this has been a profound moment, especially that thing with the money at the end. And if it has, and if you learned or taken anything from this video at all, please do hit the thumbs up. It's always nice to have some support on this channel. And another thing is, um, those of you are used to it, comment below, let us know where you guys have tuned in from. I'm doing a lot of traveling, so it's always nice to know who's around the cities that I'm traveling in. And finally, remember, if you're new to this channel, remember, to hit that subscribe button and the notifications button next to it because now I'm dedicated to making daily videos to hold you accountable to make 2018 your best year yet. But for now guys, <laughs> ciao.